shoot, it's one thing left. Uh, uh. <laughs> We back, y'all. We back like we never left, man. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> Hold up. Give me a sec. <sighs> Give me the energy. <laughs> What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up? So, look. I'm right here chilling, man. I'm over here chilling. I'm going to tell y'all how this happened. I'm going to tell y'all exactly how it happened. I'm at the house doing a tune-up on my little brother's car. You know, he keep calling me and bothering me, dude. I'm like, okay, I'm going to take care of my little brother. I'm talking about chilling, just chilling. I ain't, I ain't even got my mind on low because I, I didn't have some stuff going on at the house, right? Lady called me. Same lady as last video. The same lady she's going to tell me. You know, Tay, we got them lows again. You know, we need metal. We need metal bad. I said, okay. You know, uh, huh. I said, so y'all paying the same rate? She said, no. You know, that rate you got last time was crazy. I don't know if I could ever pay that again. You know, but we still got a great rate on that, on them cores if you want to do them for us. Going down to Real Texas, instead of picking up in Blyville, you're going to pick up in. Uh, Osceola, Arkansas. So it's a little closer, probably about 45 minutes closer to me, right? I said, uh huh. So how much is it? We're gonna do, we can we can do it for seven dollars a mile. I said, huh. Dang, she had it at nine dollars last time. But I understand it's a crazy rate. You know what I'm saying? I said, okay. Let me think about it. My truck in the shop. We're gonna talk about that a little later, y'all. We most definitely gonna talk about that. My truck in the shop. You know, I said, let me go check on my truck and I'm going to see if I can do it for you. All along, I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, I know she can do $9 a mile. I didn't call her back none that day. None that day. The next day she called me. Tay, we got them loads for you, man. I said, huh, talk to me. Talk to Big Daddy. Talk to me now. She said, we got them at $9 a mile. Nobody ain't picking them up. I said, here I come. <laughs> here I come, boys. Here I come. Look, she told, that's all she had to tell me. And guess where I'm going? Terrell, Texas for $9 a mile. <sighs> Ain't God good. Dude, life is just too good, dope. Life is too freaking good, man. <laughs> Look, I'm going to tell you guys something, man. Because I still got to. Y'all want to see the load, dude. I ain't even done with it. I'm not even done with the load. I, look. Look. Here go the load, y'all. All I did was threw two chains on her. And I wanted to come outside and get some of this good sun, dude. I just want to come out here and get... Look at who is that over there? You son of a gun trying to sneak up on me. I see you over there, Maverick. Dude, don't be... <laughs> I, nope. I'm not coming back. Nope. Not coming back, man. You stay over there, I'm going to stay over here with Big Cliff, man. <laughs> a lot of people ask me these questions, man. And I'm going to tell y'all in this video, you know, because I love you. Nobody love you like me, you know. And they, they might say they love you, but they don't love y'all, dope. You know, I'm going to get, I'm going to, look, I'm going to tell you the real deal Holyfield, you know, because this trucker will take, dope. I'm going to tell you the real deal Holyfield on this channel. What's up, man? You know, mind your bitch. I'm over here talking to my folks because I love them. Look at Map. Look at Map. He over there. <laughs> Look at, they go another Map. Dude, Map is trying to get me to come back. Look at him. Look at three of them all in a row. I'm not coming back, Map. I'm not. And I'm going to tell y'all something, man. Oh. Um, we lost a good one, y'all. Work for that company, man. My guy, Mario. He lost his life, y'all, this uh this past week. You know, uh, rest in peace to my guy, man. I met him. He was one of the guys that came over to Maverick because of me. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all a little uh, little, little quick story, man. I got out my um 
I got out of my truck, right? I'm down there in North Carolina at the glass plant. And I'm just like, golly, bro, some smell good as a food. This man had on there one million. That one million smells so good. First time meeting him, like, they might have on some, some clone that smells so good. I said, I got about it. Next thing you know, 30 minutes later, I'm on freaking line ordering the clone. Now that's one of my favorite clones, y'all. He was on the, uh, from what I heard, he was on the side of the road checking the load. And a load fell on him, man. Flatbed guy. You know, um, you know, things just happen. And uh, my prayers goes out to his family. Y'all send one up for my guy, Mario. It's all love, man. You know what we doing. We gonna keep doing it for my boy, Mario, man. boys it looks like we all secure boys we all freaking secure man and uh uh, uh shoot it's one thing left uh uh tarp okay I'll take, we got a tarp we got a tarp so it's gonna take us uh probably about uh probably about uh, uh 2.2 seconds to tarp it so I'm gonna just go down here and give me a glass of water. Hold on, let me give me some water right here. Oh, dude, somebody playing tricks on my folks, man. I know. <laughs> oh, shoot. Somebody playing tricks on my. Dude, I know for a fact this wasn't just like that. I know that, dude. <laughs> I love y'all, man. We just got it tarped, y'all. We just got it all tarped. We ready to head down to Texas, dude. And enjoy the sun. But, I got to tell my folks something, man. So, I get a lot of emails about, you know, where I get my truck from. And, you know what I'm saying, how did I start off with being an owner-operator? You know what I'm saying, how do I pull these type of loads? What type of agents I go through and my least on. Dude, I'm gonna tell y'all one thing first. This is the first question I'm gonna answer for y'all, you know what I'm saying? For the guys that wanna know, this is a big question of mine, and I'm gonna answer this question for you guys, dude. Because I've been in a shop, you know what I'm saying, for the last three or four weeks, man, you know, getting trailer inspections done, getting lights fixed. And the last, and also I got my uh, oversized light done. It was like twelve hundred and some dollars, man. And I didn't like that at all. I didn't like that at all. I also just recently, yesterday, picked up my truck from getting uh, my brake lights done. My brake lights wasn't working, and they ca I came back to the shop, and I was gonna try to figure it out myself because that's usually what I do. But I've been having a lot going on, y'all, just off camera. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's like this, dude. I'm like, okay, let's just go and get it done. Dude, I come back, and they got a bill for me for like $500, man. 500 freaking dollars. We got the freaking light done, 1200 Then they did the freaking uh, reverse light. One of the reverse lights was out. The part was $2.17. And the brake lights wasn't working. Neither one of my brake lights. I'm like, dude, that wasn't like that before I brought it in. I also had my batteries done, right? And I didn't see my brake lights not working before I had my batteries before I had my batteries changed out, right? Dude, all in all, dude, within the last three to four weeks, y'all, I didn't probably spent 
I know for a fact probably but close to three thousand dollars, y'all. Three thousand dollars battery batteries, their top light done, and my brake lights done, right? I said all that to say this, dude. You don't know when a problem is gonna occur, right? So when you first come to trucking, right? I get this question. How much money should I start off? Or how much money should I have in reserve before I buy my truck? How much money should I aim to have before I buy my truck or after I buy my truck? I'm gonna tell you how much I had after I put down my down payment for Big Cliff, right? I literally had probably about $5,000 left. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, it was anywhere between $5,000 and $10,000, right? It wasn't no more than $10,000 in cash, liquid cash. I didn't have no more than $10,000 in liquid cash, right? But I had credit. Now, I'm not telling none of you guys, I'm not telling any of you guys to go out there and get credit cards, especially if you know within, you're not responsible. You don't know how to, you know what I'm saying, manage your money and all that good stuff. And first and foremost, if you don't know how to manage your money, you don't, you probably need to, you know what I'm saying, wait a little while before you come over to this side of the, you know what I'm saying, the trucking game. You get what I'm saying? But I had, shoot, in credit, like I had, I had, oh, shoot. It was up there, y'all. It was, it was, it was like, shoot. I probably had about $40,000 in credit. Like credit cards and stuff like that, like line of credit, all that kind of stuff, dude. I probably had about $40,000 then. It, it went up a lot now. But you have to have some, you have to have some cash on hand or some way to pay your bills just in case something happens. You don't know when that truck is going to act up. You don't know when the transmission going to probably have problems. You don't know when the motor's going to have problems. I had a warranty on the truck as well, but all in all, I had $10,000 in cash and I had probably about $40,000 plus uh, in credit. That's what I had. So $50,000. I'm not saying you need that much, but that's what I had. In my opinion, this just me. Like, I would think, you know, if you got anywhere between 20, I'm gonna say this, anywhere between 15 and 25,000 dollars, y'all. I think there would be a good number for you to have. You get what I'm saying? In reserve or credit or cash. That's I'm talking about. After you buy your truck, you should at least have probably that amount of money. But I'ma also say this. Don't be too much in a rush to get that first truck, y'all. Do not be too much in a rush because you will cause problems down the line. You get you a solid truck first. And if you already have a solid company lined up after you have a solid truck, all you have to do is run for about a month. If you get you a solid truck, you know what I'm saying? Or you buy your truck and fix on that truck and make sure that truck is road ready, you should be solid. Some people tend to forget, you know, but I'm going to let y'all know this right now. We got more merch on the way. We got Listen to me right now, dude. We got merch on the freaking way, dude. It's the summertime, dude. Oh, I just want y'all to look at this real close. Look at this real close. What we doing, man? <laughs> what we freaking doing, man? <laughs> I'm so thankful. Thank God for all... I'm talking about thank, I just want to thank God for all my blessings, man. Thank God for you guys, man, because without you guys, man, I wouldn't have the motivation to keep pushing this channel. I wouldn't have the motivation to just run as hard as I do because sometimes, dude, I do certain things on the channel just for you guys, man. So thank you. I mean it, man. We truck it, man. We truck it. So until next time.